Hello and welcome to Structure Sport versus RTG Group. Um, football. 90 minutes of soccer. It's football, not soccer. Oh, we've got a strong team out, a mix of construction sport companies who are supporting us, and RTG are supporting us again by taking us on. So, what can I do? It's Friday night under the lights, it's gonna be a good crack, great turnout. We've got 30, 30 lads in between the two teams, 30, 35 lads, thousands of people in the audience, so it's gonna be good. Starting left back. Oosh! Watch this, I'm pinging them in all day, just assists, assist, assist, assist. Oh, we're off! as we planned. The script's gone out the window, everyone from themselves. Did you get that? Did you get that? You got that? Send that to me. <laughs> Second half, the one behind. We're smashing now, take these out. <laughs> Post match thoughts. Steve could still be out there on his own here when the scores. Cracky game of footy. We lost 5 3, RTG done us. We lost a few men early doors and numbers of a week. No, great crack, real good laugh. RTG have been an absolute pleasure to host. Massive thank you to Haybridge Swift Football Club. Massive thank you to RTG to, um, for giving us a game. Thank you to Dave, Mur Dave the Cat Murrell. Saved every shot I had and let every other one in. Football was the winner. How about that? Over and out. Can you hear me? Right, good evening and welcome to Colchester Rugby Club. We're here hosting an open training session in Essex for construction sport rugby, but all the surrounding clubs and teams as well. So we've got about 30, 30 odd people playing, I think come to turn up and have a run around. And with the main man again, Mr. Andy Good is flying the flag for construction sport rugby once again, but cheers for coming, And Yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, I won't be doing too much contact, uh, but I'm hearing the boys are keen for it. So it's great to be here, obviously, getting everyone together out on the rugby field again, even though it's yeah, a cold it. Wednesday night. Um, some of the boys haven't even got tracksuits on, so they're a bit tougher than me. <laughs> looking forward to it. How long ago was you training, or what last time you trained? Why'd you look training like session? that? Why'd you look <laughs> at me? <laughs> Stay uh, a long time. <laughs> no, a long time. Listen, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I coached uh, a school team about a month ago, uh, yeah. just a bit of fun on an afternoon. But in terms of actual doing it myself, yeah. probably about seven years ago when I retired. So, yeah. um, so we've got a bit, Mr. Brad. Brad Davis, isn't it? Brad yeah. from London Irish. I brought Brad Davis along, who's uh, the attack and defence coach at London Irish. Yeah. Genuinely, Brad is the best coach, or one of the best coaches I've ever had as really? a player. Um, yeah. Really intelligent rugby coach, knows how to motivate people, so it's a real privilege for me. Where I'm, I'm a bit nervous around it, right, yeah, because yeah. he's taking the session and I'm going to join in. I'm like, <laughs> Brad, tell me what to do, I've forgotten. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be great. Look, Brad's a brilliant bloke, brilliant coach, and he's one of the top coaches in the country at the moment. good thing on Brad is Eddie Jones tried to get him on his coaching staff, and he said no to Eddie, but he said yes to us. Hey, there you go. <laughs> brilliant stuff. Let's go and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, let's go. Lovely. Let's be having you.
decent training session. It's been a while since I played rugby, actually, so good crack. We're now going to get showered together, and then uh, we are going to go in the clubhouse, have some food, and a couple of drinks or something like that. So, yeah, massive thank you to Colchester Rugby Club for hosting us today for us. Massive thank you to Brad Davis, massive thank you to Andy Good, massive thank you to everyone behind Construction Sport who makes this stuff happen. We can sit on Zoom calls and chat lib service all day long, or we can get out here and we can do something proactively. So, I like to say Construction Sport is probably the most proactive mental health charity in the construction sector. Plenty more of this to come. Let's go have you.